Hi, this is Greg Fries, paramedic, Wilderness Medical Associates lead instructor and online educator for emergency responders. In a previous video, I talked about considerations for a first aid kit, where you're going, what you're doing, and what time of year it is, and then either assembling your own first aid kit or buying a pre-purchased first aid kit. This is one of my kits. It's uh, from Adventure Medical Kits. Uh, it's a fundamentals kit. I don't even know how old this is. Over time, I've swapped out a lot of supplies in here uh, as I've used things and even put in my own supplies. This is a larger version. If you want to find out more about their kits, you can go to adventuremedicalkits.com. But we're going to dig into this one. This is the guide kit and see what's in here. Over time for me, I found it's better that I am able to get kits that are pre-packaged to have the things in them that are most likely to be used. So this uh, pre-packaged kit I take with me on trips where I can carry a bigger kit or out to the hunting cabin in the fall, uh, pre-packaged with things like essentials. Uh, you can go onto their website and find out what's in each specific kit they sell. And then they've got uh, other things here called tools. Uh, it looks like there might be a stethoscope in there, some syringes, even a digital thermometer. So a lot of good handy things to have. This is the inside of the big pocket on the kit. Uh, we've got personal protection, pocket mask, gloves, uh, area for some medications. It looks like uh, there's some oral glucose, so maybe some pain medications, over-the-counter stuff. And then up here they call this pocket trauma, bandaging supplies, tape, uh, triangle bandages. Again, this kit was called the Guide 1. It's meant for people that have wilderness first responder level of training or more. And again, this is from Adventure Medical Kits. 